It's a beautiful sunny day here, Saturday. It's uh, the 23rd, so it's the day before Christmas Eve, and we're gonna go over to Solvang. Solvang is one of the top 10 Christmassiest cities in America, so we thought it was a good place to spend Christmas. Uh, ben has requested a day off from the creative in terms of vlogging, so I'm taking over today, and that means they have to do what I say. As you can see, Ben's not allowed to wear a hat today. Mm -hmm. He had to fix his hair. And the product. we argued over putting the Christmas sweater on Shelby, and you can see who won for that too. I'm the boss today. Since we have the new RV, something else that we're trying, and uh, we've never done before, is to have a towed vehicle. While we couldn't really tow it over here behind the RV, we did bring an extra car. There's something to be said for not having to unhook the RV to go somewhere. I have to tell you that the Flying Flags RV Resort is definitely worth a stay. This place is really a resort. Like when they say resort, this is what they mean. Uh, it has nice pools everywhere, cabanas, you guys saw some of that last night. I went over and used the showers this morning and they're like marble showers and subway tile and really nice fixtures. It's a high-end place. We're kind of excited to be here. I hope this power doesn't go to my head today because when I said I have control, I really have control. Ben's an active participant today. Yes, I am. But he's following all of my recommendations. I've asked him to get some nice GoPro footage for us on the way over there so you can see what a beautiful drive it is out here. He's got navigation going for us so we don't get lost. Is that a good shot, honey? Yeah, I guess. We'll see what it looks like on camera. <laughs> Just in case you haven't grasped it yet, Ben is about the bossiest producer I've ever hey, met, hey, so hey. I'm mocking him a little bit today with my bossiness. Exaggerations. No, not really. Really not. Do you want, do I get to mock you? And <laughs> no. No, you won't it be able get to. to play that no. Oh. Mm -hmm. Nope, this will be a one-way street today. Fine. California in the month of December and looking for something kind of festive to do for the holidays they have what's called a Yule Fest here throughout the month of December every weekend they have different activities that are related to the holidays and they decorate and have people in costume and all kinds of things like that so it's a fun place especially to bring the family I've been instructed to come on over and show you these buildings because they look like a little village. But it's called the Royal Copenhagen Hotel. What else did you say? I said I was told to come over here and show you <laughs> these because they look like a little village and it's the Royal Copenhagen Hotel. What do you want from me? <laughs> I want you to see I'm it doing what you say. acting like I told you to go do it like it's a big chore. I can never make you happy. I think we found a place to have some lunch. They have outdoor seating and music playing and it just looks nice and festive. We have a really yummy looking cubano. This has to be the best salad I've had in a long time. You, know, you have apples, nuts, gorgonzola cheese, uh, a cilantro dressing, warm chicken. There's so many contrasting flavors like sweet, salty, uh, savory, warm, cold, and then you have gorgonzola cheese, which has a good bite. Yeah, this is an awesome salad. 
little Shelby was having a pretty hard time getting comfortable while we were having lunch. She just kind of kept pacing around. She didn't really want to lay down. I told Ben she wanted something to lay on. Case in point, his napkin fell off of his lap and she went and found it and laid right down on it. No, our dog is not spoiled at all. Ben forgot to publish a moment for you guys today, so he's taking care of that. And I'm gonna walk down here to this other store that I wanted to look into. I don't know why he doesn't want to go. But I want to come over here and see what kind of Christmas ornaments they have. This would be my kind of Christmas tree. All seashells. I didn't find anything in there that I couldn't live without. That seems to happen more often than not these days, which makes Ben happy, but I don't know. Maybe it's getting older. Maybe it's living more of a minimalist lifestyle. You just think a lot more about what you're going to purchase rather than just buying every little thing. Are you having fun? Yeah. What are you doing? You got quite the perch there. Okay, we're back at the RV park. Got some comfy warm clothes on. It's a little chilly tonight here. Ben's working on some videos. Not a big surprise. He's always working on something. We've just kind of been burning the candle at both ends this week. We are thinking maybe it wouldn't be so bad just to hang out here and kind of enjoy the resort a little. But we're thinking we've got time here, so we don't need to just do everything in one day. And uh, so I'm heading up to the front office. They rent movies here, and when you check in, they give you a list of movies that you can maybe check out if you want. So I'm going to see what they have, and I thought I'd show you around in this place too. It's really nice. They have an insane wine collection in here. And they have drinks and teas and coffees, and they have craft beer on tap. And a beautiful store. Wow, this place looks dangerous. Camping supplies. A little bit of food and plastic paper goods. Then it looks like stuff you might need for your rig. Yep, yeah, nice selection of things here. All right, there you go. And then um, the max you can have them is two days. Okay. Okay. And no fee? Nope. Oh, okay. Great. Thank you. You're welcome. So we got Sideways and Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. They have the Campfire Cafe here as well. And they have, it looks like, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. All kinds of snacks and ice creams and things. Looks like a beautiful store. I love that fire pit. I really want to come over here and sit and enjoy it. Here's the pool, and they have two jacuzzis, one inside and one outside. If it gets warm enough, I'd love to use those cabanas. Oh, and just to show you how nice this place is, I'm going to show you the bathroom. It is really nice. See, look at this. Marble walls, subway tiles, nice fixtures. Even if you don't have your own RV, you can rent RVs or go glamping here. They have permanently set up tents with like all of the amenities inside. They look really cozy and you can come and rent those instead of bringing your own RV. So that's kind of a neat feature and a different experience. And they're really cute. We've seen some of them around here. They have old vintage trailers. Pretty nice grill we've got going. Yeah. This is the cleanest barbecue I've ever seen aside from one that I opened fresh out of the box. This thing is spotless. That's awesome. Good Sunday morning and happy Christmas Eve. Uh, we are going to have a little bit more fun in Sylvain today. I uh, thought we would start out by checking out something kind of cool. Well, they gave us this bowl of food and said to come outside. Ah, this is all just Please hooey. Please do not stand near the fence unless you're feeding. Who needs to read the you instructions? You could get pecked. Ben, you need to read those instructions. No. You never abide by the rules. That's why I say, why read them if you're not going to obey them? Yeah. I've always said I don't ever want to be a female bird. They're never the prettier of the two. 
which appears to be the case with ostriches as well. Ben found one to feed. It looks like a female because her beak is gray, not pink. Apparently the male ostriches have harems of two to seven female ostriches. That's a lot to handle. I don't know. Huh? What? Hmm? A harem of that size would be a lot of work. See, you don't need instructions. Luckily, you never get to find out. <laughs> Hi, Birdie. You want some more? Look at you. Hello. I like your nose and your eyes. Wow. You are cool looking. Look, it's a male bird because he has. Oh, and hey, rude. Hey, are you getting pictures? The camera down. such a nominal fee to get in. All right guys, well a little change in plans. Um, I had a lot more planned for you guys today. We were gonna do this really cool tour in Sylvain with a horse-drawn like trolley and you could go see the old architecture and hear the stories about Sylvain and stuff. And maybe grab a yummy pastry to take to my mom's for Christmas tomorrow, but Shelby had a funny little event and um, it's nothing super alarming at the moment. She just um, kind of indicated like she wasn't feeling so great today. And we put a call in to Dr. Lipsitz. I think we probably need to adjust her medicines a little bit. You know, we've been cutting back on the prednisone, cutting back on the immunomodulators, trying to get her to as low a dose as possible. And we cut another one back about a week ago kind of stands to reason maybe she's feeling the effects of that by the time it takes to bring the steady state down to the new level on the med. And um, she didn't seem to really feel so great yesterday and then today with this we just, you know, the ultimate reason that we're here is so Shelby can be close to the doctor and um, while Ben and I can burn a candle at both ends we can't expect Shelby to right now. And ultimately we have to keep her healthy and well and rested and so we decided just to come back here let her take a nap we gave her some extra medicine and we're waiting for dr. Lipsitz to call I called and talked to my mama as well and we decided to do that extra medicine with that and, um, but we're just going to take it easy the rest of the day, let her have some rest. She's she's fine, like I don't want to freak everybody out that she's sick again or something. It's just, they told us this would happen where we would, you know, have to lower the dose and see how she did on it and then maybe bring the dose back up. And I think that's where we're at right now, but this is the first time it's happened. So it just uh, gave us both a little bit of a start and we want to make sure that we go as easy on her as we need to so um, anyway um, I hope you had fun with our silly little vlog takeover uh, when I do these vlogs it reminds me of how much work and vision and effort Ben puts into putting together the story of the beginning the middle the end it sounds really simple but it's actually a requires a lot of planning, a lot of forethought and creativity to make it all come together and then the editing process which I promise you I won't be editing this video because it would be like Christmas of 2018 before I could get it out. <laughs> um, I will help to pick out the clips and stuff we agreed on that but uh, Ben will edit as usual and um, so hopefully there's a little bit enough of a story here for you guys to enjoy. Uh, even though it's a, 
ending a little bit more abruptly than I expected, but um, an extra little prayer for Miss Shelby Lynn would be much appreciated, but I think we're doing okay. We just have to make these medicine adjustments and we need to talk to Dr. Lipsitz about that and, uh, and give her some extra rest. Um, she was pretty tired yesterday and I think, um, I think, you know, we just need to take it easy on her. So anyway, um, we're going to go to my mom's for Christmas tomorrow and, uh, um, have dinner and open presents with them. So we hope that by the time you watch this, you'll have already had Christmas. So we hope you had a wonderful Christmas and, uh, Thank you for joining us. Um, just trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to tell you guys. Well, I don't think so. So if you haven't subscribed already, be sure to do so. We've got a little bit more time here in Sylvain, so hopefully we can make the most of it and enjoy a few more activities here. And uh, then it will be on to the north country of the central coast. So. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and we'll see you tomorrow. What's up, guys? Mm -hmm. Get some. Mm -hmm.